Hey, what's up, guys? Your boy Jack here. And guess what? We're making a top ten list. The past, the future. Finally, we're making a top ten list. And now, let's get right into it. Where these are all my top ten favorite characters from all sorts of genres. So they could be from anything. Alright, let's get right into it. And at number 10, we have Meta Knight. Meta Knight is a pretty cool character from a video game called Kirby, the Kirby series. He's like Kirby's arch rival, like Shadow the Hedgehog from Sonic, as an example. He is super cool. He's pretty short, though. He has, as you can tell, he has um, a gold sword, and he has, but the cool definition of him is that he has back wings. That's what makes him pretty cool. Sorry to put you on the wall. And at number 9, we have Darwin Watterson. He is just so cool. I cannot stop. I cannot stop liking him. The best part about him is, he hasn't done anything bad in his whole life. So, that was, that's what makes him a good character for like little kids and stuff. But I just like him as a good character. And, sorry to put you a little bit low on the list. And let's get on to number, number 8. And at number 8, we have Jake the Dog. Jake the Dog is just a, a cool character from from Adventure Time. Adventure Time is a series where a dog and a human from different from a world of food and ice and all this other stuff is in one giant series. And he's the funniest character in this whole series. And he's a dog. Who cannot love a dog that stretches out and does all this stuff? Get out of number. No, number seven. In number seven, we have Smoky Quart. It is a fusion between Steven and Amethyst, which makes them have a yo-yo, which is pretty cool. If you haven't watched Steven Universe, it's where it's where like this guy is like this this there's this mom and their mom and their, the mom dies and they have a baby and their baby is really powerful and cool and stuff and, and they are people that protect him and they confuse and all that stuff and. Amethyst and Steven are one of the characters, and they fuse together and they make this, and it's one of my favorite characters. Sorry to be so long on the list. And let's get on to number six. And at number six, we have Miles Morales or Spider Man. I know all of you like Spider Man, probably, or almost all of you, but if you don't, that's pretty cool. I don't really care. But. He is one of the best Spider-Man because he is just really cool. He's from a different dimension with the different di Avengers and all of that stuff like that. And that's why I like this Spider-Man. He's from a different dimension. He's just different, which makes him cool. And let's get on to the next one. And on this one, we have Darth Vader. Darth Vader is just a cool, classic character from back in the old days. So if you knew, if you know Star Wars, you probably all of you do. But this is this is one of the best characters in the whole show, in the whole movie. On I mean. the whole, the movie, the movie is um is where. They have, they're in space. You probably have all seen it. If you haven't, just go check it out sometime. And let's go on to the next one. He's my favorite character, though. The same. And at number, and this one is Sceptile. Sceptile is my favorite Pokemon. He, if he, if he, because he was my first starter. My starter that evolved and evolved to level 100 and to Sceptile. He is just a grass type, and when he mega evolves, he becomes a grass dragon type, which makes him one of the best types in the whole in the whole series, in the whole Pokemon thing. But if you don't know, Sceptile is um, really cool, he's really fast, so that was, that's what makes him cool. So let's go on to the next one. And 
And the next one, we have Vegeta. Especially Majin Vegeta. Because he is just really cool. He sacrifices his life for um, his son and his wife. And he's never done something like that before because he's so... What do you call it? Just mean. But he's, he, he's good in my book. Not probably in nobody else's because nobody else likes him. And yeah, he's just awesome. I just love Vegeta. And let's go on to the next one. And at number two, we have Shadow the Hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog. Oh my gosh. First event, first ad introduced in, Sh in Sh Shadow the Hedgehog or Sonic Adventure 2. Sonic Adventure 2 is when he first started, and he was sort of like a bad guy, and then he turned into a good guy, which is pretty cool, I guess. Well, yeah, he's just cool, badass, and really cool. And number one, try and just try and guess who it is by this music. Have you not guessed it yet? It's Saitoma. Saitoma is my number one favorite character. He is bald, he is super funny, and he is the strongest person on earth in my opinion. He, all he did was 100 squats, 100 sit-ups, and 100 push-ups, and a 10 kilometer run every single day. I bet none of you guys can could do that, except for him. He was the only one. I had enough to try. <laughs> Except for that YouTuber that um actually did this. Didn't work out so well. Yeah. He put a he could have died. And I'll see you guys later. Bye bye. <laughs> and at number what was it? Optic <laughs>